The last one for today is a baseball topic. We have a player who is hurt, who is done for the season. And it's not just that. That's not the reason why we're talking about him, only because of that. Well, it is because he's a free agent that signed with the new team, signed a massive contract, is one of the best players. Actually, I, I, I think is the best player in his position when healthy. Was, was on my favorite team, but he left and signed with a new team, signed a massive contract, and now he is done for the season again. That player, yes, you may have guessed it already. If you are aware, you are on top of the news, is Jacob deGrom. Jacob deGrom uh, has to get Tommy John surgery again, so he will be out for the rest of the season. Here is him being emotional when, you know, discussing it. <laughs> and not be able to be out there and, you know, help him win, that it stinks. If you want to be out there, like I said, we got a special group. Um, you know, I love being around these guys and, um, you know, that's where you feel like a letdown. You're letting those guys down. But, you know, we have, like, Dane stepped up and done a great job, and the pitching staff's unbelievable. So, um, uh, you know, be here and root them on. That's all I can do. So, yeah, you see, I wanted to share that because – we have to remember, you know, if you're a Rangers fan, you may be upset, you may be pissed off about this, you may be bummed out about this, but it's important to remember that, hey, these guys are humans, and it's good to see that the player cares, right? Because a lot of times people get this thing where they like, kind of take away emotions from players, they take away, you know, the the heart or the, you know, the, the love for the game, and Jacob deGrom here in this moment is being vulnerable, he's talking about his situation, his injury that he's dealing with, this is not his first time dealing with this, and it's probably why he's more emotional about it, and then, you know, the fact that you know, he wants to be out there. And that's a good sign for Ranger fans to see that. Obviously, it sucks, though, from a perspective of the team. And I did say, you know, he was a Met, right? I'm a Mets fan. Here I got, um, you know, Michael Marino on Twitter. The Mets had concerns about both Kumar Rocker and Jacob DeGrom's physicals. The Rangers took a risk aggressively going after both. And two years later, they have both undergone Tommy John surgery. A very tough break for Texas. Wishing a speedy recovery to both. Of course, we all hope that, you know, they recover quickly, but it's a good point because it's a part of sports. That's how it works, right? Like sometimes you take these risks and they play out really well for you. Sometimes you take them and they don't play out so well. In this case, like with guys like Jacob DeGrom, it doesn't mean it's over. Like the risk you took, it doesn't mean like you you failed at it, right? Like he's going to come back. He's going to, you know, hopefully be able to be can healthy consistently and and be one of the top. Because he when he's healthy, he's the top in the game. In my opinion, there's no better pitcher in baseball than Jacob DeGrom, a healthy Jacob DeGrom. That just is what it is. And so it sucks to see this. Again, as a Mets fan, I was I, I loved having, you know, Jacob DeGrom for all those years. It, he was it was fantastic. Then when the season came up and he took more, you know, he took the money and went to Texas, I was bummed out about it for sure. But I also felt there was no reason the Mets should have given him that kind of money. It's just like at some point, like as a fan, you understand, like, hey, I love this player. I want this guy to be on the team, but at the same time, I don't want my team taking that kind of risk. And so while it's bummed out for Jacob deGrom, it's bummed out for Texas, you hope that this plays out well, he recovers, you know, as you know, as best as possible. It doesn't keep reoccurring. You also have to give, you know, props to teams like the Mets, who also were willing to take a risk and sign these guys. They just wanted, you know, extra, you know, protections or shorter contracts, less money, you know, caveats in the contract, or in some cases like Rocker. I mean, you know, it just is what it is. Like these guys didn't make it work with their former teams who had the concerns. And, you know, the Mets are on the winning side of that right now. Obviously, the team isn't even playing, you know, fantastic. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I give I give props to both angles, right? Because I respect the risks. I respect the risk takers. I respect them, you know, taking that chance and doing that. At the same time, I respect the Mets for being a smart organization. And, and it's, it's kind of um a long time coming sometimes it feels like for the Mets and so you know for them to make some right moves also feels you know feels good as a Mets fan sucks to see the ground get hurt but it's good to see you know them making the right decisions also just really quickly in terms of how this does hurt uh the Rangers for this season it's kind of nuts when you look at it but US USA today posted this Texas Rangers flushed away millions with the ground they have um the Texas Rangers have paid Jacob the ground 30 million dollars for his 2-0 and record and 2.67 ERA, covering just six starts this season. So that's the kind of risk they took. It was a huge gamble, obviously, and it's not going to pay off this year. And then next year, you think about it, they're going to pay him another $40 million, I think it is, and he's got to recover because this is like a year-long you know, recovery. You, you, know, you don't get back to normal for a long time from a surgery like that. So flushing more down the drain. I think the article said it was like $70 million they would have flushed down the drain. Or something. 
however you want to look at it, you say they say flush down the drain, but you know, just the risk they took. And obviously, you know, as of right now, that gamble is not paying off. Will it eventually? Potentially, maybe, maybe it will. You know, we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. But you know, for the for a two zero start to the season, Texas Rangers, you know, are eating that. You know, thirty million this year. Again, USA Today. This is from them. I mean, two and zero, two six seven ERA, two point six seven. He was doing well, right? Like in the games he played, he was playing well. It just, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. It's the way things go. It plays out this way. 